Hey everybody, welcome back to another video review. Today we're looking at a pen style digital multimeter. It is sold under the Maximum brand here in Canada at Canadian Tire. And the name is a numerical one. Are you ready for it? Here we go. This is the 052-1897-6. Oh. And in reality, this is actually a Maztec. Maztec is the OEM on this meter. It is known globally as the MS8212A. Now this meter is not cheap here at the Canadian Tire in Canada. You're looking around 50, 60 bucks Canadian. Um, sometimes you can get it on sale. I've seen it go for $39.99, okay, 40 bucks. But yeah, it's definitely not uh, considered cheap if you buy it locally at the brick and mortar. Online, eBay and other e-tailers, the Maztec version I've seen as low as 25 bucks Canadian. Literally half price. So in the box, as you can see, you get your pen meter. A negative probe because the positive is attached to the meter. You get two alligator clips, a handy dandy carrying case, and instruction manual. And in Canada, they give you two, English and the French. The negative probe itself definitely has a Maztec look and feel to it. it has a rating of 1000 volts CAT2. Um, fairly generic in terms of the overall quality. Um, it's not too big, not too small, and it does have the screw type um, on the end of the probe. And that is because with the alligator clips, they just screw on, come sa, whoops, just like that. There you go. And uh, yeah, so uh, handy dandy. The meter itself, um, not too, uh, I would give it Gosh, it's not heavy, it's not light. It's kind of probably more on the light side. Um, has a rubbery sort of housing that also has that kind of grippy texture to it. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not bad. Um, I'm not crazy about the ergo overall ergonomic design. It's a little awkward, I find. Um, the probe itself, now there were some earlier variants of this meter. Um, in the Maztec sense of the clone, which you could actually turn the probe tip so this would come in or come out. So you didn't always have to have this darn thing sticking out. Um, you don't get that feature with this version, this maximum version. Now, I don't believe you get it either with the Maztec uh, version of this as well. Uh, that was on a prior series of the Pentite meters. That was really handy. Um, but yeah, generally feel, uh, look and feel, it's okay. Um, I don't really think this could take any major drop. I just don't get a super sense of uh, um, ruggedness here. Um, if you're a lefty, I'm not, but if you are left-handed, this will probably drive you crazy. Once again, because the um, rotary turning knob is, is just not, not where you want it to be. Um, you know, even being a right-handed person, it's still, not a great implementation in terms of our overall engineering design. So I'm, not, I'm just not a big fan of this rotary knob. For me, pen multimeters are, eh, you know, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of them just because I find them really kind of, I don't know, niche, very niche. It's a niche kind of a tool, product, instrument, whatever you want to call it. Probably, you know, if you're working on a stage or something, you're a stagehand, you know, you want something you can just pull out of your pocket. Uh, for something like that, it's pretty good. Um, on the bench, on the bench per se, do I, do I really want, want to be doing ah, this? No, probably not. No, I just don't like the feel of this. Like, it's not a bench meter at all, that's for sure. Um, but, I mean, it has this place. And, uh, yeah, you can take a look at it today and uh, just compare some of the ranges and look at the quality. Taking a close look at the display itself, nothing fancy. You have your typical LCD display. Um, Glare-wise, it, you know, it's not bad. Um, no backlight. You have your function selectors here on the left, starting with the NCV, non-contact voltage, the max, 
and the range slash hold switch. To change the ranges, you have your a typical wheel style rotary selector switch, and it goes from off to milliamps to resistance, continuity diode, logic, and finally volts AC DC. Uh, I'm not crazy about the way it feels. Um, it just can you hear that? Yeah, it just doesn't have a very, very nice um, feel to it. It just seems like it's kind of grinding. Uh, anyway, going down the lane here, we have the Max um, NCV detector. And basically what you have is a high and a low setting. And once again, that's the standard probe. Now. On some of the Maztec models, this being a clone, these have a feature where you could just manually turn the probe at the top like that, and you would actually, the, the probe needle would actually come in or go out. Uh, really neat, actually. Um, in this case, no, no can do. There's no implementation. The positive probe is always there, ready to poke you. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Right now I have the multimeter hooked up to a 2.5 volt precision voltage tester. And as you can see, 2.50 volts on the DC, spot on. AC mode, no problems here. Next we're in LED mode. Let's see how good this Canadian tire maximum pentite multimeter is at lighting up these LEDs. Starting off with the red. And we have nothing. All right, well, let's try the yellow. And we have nothing. Let's try the green. No can do, the white and blue and it is lights out in georgia baby because yeah if you want to test leds you're not going to use this thing sheesh so no forward voltage drop indication no illumination nada in diode mode on the output voltage we are getting 1.6 volts so it's in this case, not enough to light up any of these LEDs. Testing out continuity, here we go. These are the default probes, or shall I say probe, that ships with this pen meter. Here we go. Ugh, God, that's bad. So I gotta put a lot of pressure on there. Crap. I'm gonna try a probe master now. Hooked into the bottom, let's see if that makes any difference with the continuity. really slow um, it's latched but it's incredibly um, you can't even hear the damn thing and it is just slow and I gotta really put a lot of pressure to get there so uh, yeah, I am using this for continuity next up is resistance mode I've got a fluke demo board in front of me we'll do a couple quick resistance checks starting off with a 0.5 ohm resistor And as you can see, eh, not too bad. And next up is a 22 mega ohm resistor. Yeah, and that's over range. So we only have a maximum of 20 mega ohm with this tester. To gain access to the battery compartment on the back, you have one tiny screw and it does go into a threaded insert. Now, unfortunately, once you take that screw off, you really there's no like thumb groove or anything to actually pry this thing open. So you, you kind of got to bang it. 
Uh, yeah, so uh, anyway, once you're inside, there's your two AAA battery housing. Taking a look at the inside, starting off at the top, you see the red probe. This one is stationary. There are some variations of the um, meter in the Maztec OEM sense that actually do move. So the probe um, needle goes in and goes out. In this case, it does not move at all, so it's always out. We have a couple of PTCs. One of them is on the milliamp range. The other is on the voltage side of things. Uh, some transistor clamping going on as well. Here is the speaker. Some surface mount electrolytic caps, and these are just your generic OEM style capacitors. Nothing fancy. And here, as you can tell at the top, just to zoom in a little bit for you, that is the MS8212A. So yes, indeed, the um, Canadian Tire version is a rebrand of the Maztec OEM. I would have is, you see this here, I don't know if I can get in a little bit closer, this sort of flux residue here, and it's also right here. Sorry, right over here as well. So that's a little on the sloppy side. Um, yeah, not liking that. But um, other than that, the rest of the board seems to be okay. Now if we take a look as well, here are the um, rotary tracks themselves. I've got five brass clips and they're in there with a plastic housing. Same sort of uh, mechanism you'd see on a typical multimeter. And here are the uh, rubber push buttons as well as the one brass standoff to actually gain access to the meter. Finally, if we look on the opposite side of the housing, we actually do have a little bit of shielding, a little bit of shielding going on. And that is over on top of the battery and the battery compartment actually um, rests on top of the IC. So at least they do have some shielding here. Good stuff. The IC itself is cobbed. Um, crystal oscillator behind it and uh, we have some limiting resistors over here and a couple of diodes but fairly basic in terms of the um, overall input protection also here we have the LM358 the uh, op amp and that's pretty well it if we take it up to the bottom here this is the negative probe insert um, in terms of the soldering itself, not too shabby, it looks okay. And if we look back at the other end, just lift up the top here, and we have a small metal filament here. That is for the NCV, the uh, non-contact voltage um, detection. So that is what is testing that frequency. Now, well, when I was saying before that previous uh, reincarnations of this meter, in the Maztec sense, it did a little bit more. Um, if I recall, I think it was the 8211 that had a um, control mechanism on the top where you could actually have a variable output in terms of how sensitive you wanted that um, NCV to be. So you could actually um, adjust it manually. Uh, kind of a neat feature. Obviously, this meter does not have that. So uh, no bells and whistles. The other side of the PCB, these are the rotary tracks. There's actually fairly decent spacing here, so I don't see any problems there. Now the actual uh, track mechanism itself is pretty sparse, not a whole lot going on. Soldering wise, um, fairly decent, no complaints. And moving down here, we have the function contacts, and here is the LCD display itself with the uh, zebra strip here at the top and also at the bottom now in terms of making contact let's just see here yeah so this just comes off now if we take a look on the other side we can see the um, contacts themselves are just on the one side so the other part of the elastomar is strictly just to uh, 
hold the display in place. So the actual contacts are here at the bottom. Okay, I'm now at the uh, main junction box or electrical panel. And yeah, once again, nothing. No indicator, nothing is coming up on the NCV. It is dead in the water. So it uh, does not work. Not on this one anyway. So uh, complete crap. Mama, mama. So sweet, so so sweet. Closing thoughts on the Maximum Pen Type Digital Multimeter. Eh, yeah, kind of leaves me a little flat. I was expecting more. Um, I just didn't like the overall look, feel, functionality. Um, even the quality just seems like for what Canadian Tire is charging for this meter. Uh, I'm not going to spend 50, 60 bucks on this device anytime soon. So, yeah, I'm just not super impressed. Um, display is okay. It's not bad. There is no backlight. Um, that positive probe is always out. There's no way to retract it. Um, continuity just sucks. Uh, it doesn't do capacitance. Um, resistance is slow. In this case, resistance is futile. That was a really bad joke. Um, and the NCV, well, as you can see, it just sucked. Yeah, I think you can definitely do a lot better in terms of pen type multimeters. And I would, if I'm going to buy something like this, I would definitely get the Maztec version and uh, save half the money. Term of five stars, I'm going to give the maximum, no, not the maximum stars, the maximum pen type digital multimeter 052-1897-6. A whopping two out of five stars. I ah, 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 hope you enjoyed ah, this review. Ah, subscribe, and most of all, keep on testing.